And welcome back on this Thursday morning. Let's quickly go over that forecast. We do have 40%, 40 to 50%, depending on where you are. I guess you're the lucky one if you see some rain today. But temperatures are going to stand true and be warm and hot. High temperatures today around 94. Tomorrow, 90 for that high. And rain in the forecast, about 40%. And then it looks like just a hot weekend. There it is right there. Even hotter next week with temperatures 97 and 98. You know, if I had, you know, if I really want to get out and do something, I'd get out on a foot ball field right now. Well, I'd wait till it got about 90, 95, Pass about out. 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Did that yesterday. Just get out there and try to, you know, run a little bit. It was not what fun. What do you think, Coach Peter? It was not fun. It. It was not, what do you got going on? All right. Um, Friday, uh, we have um, Kerry Good coming in. He's got a foundation that he started up in, in for ALS research. So after Kevin Turner passed away, um, you know, little did Kerry know, Kerry was one of his biggest advocates to try to Get some knowledge out there about ALS, and then before and he the, found out, before he found out that he was even diagnosed with it, he was trying to help Kevin Turner, and I think it may be related to, to football, you know, to, to contact in football. Really? So we're going to try to help out Kerry, the Kerry Good Foundation. Friday we're having a seven-on-seven -seven tournament at East Limestone. It's going to start about nine o'clock. Kerry, his brothers, uh, Antonio Langham, some former Alabama players that played with those guys are going to be there to sign autographs and. We got seven teams coming in. We're going to play all day, and um, we're going to give all the proceeds from the teams paying to get in the tournament. Mm -hmm. Everybody that comes through the gate, we're asking for donations for his foundation. Yeah. It's going to be a good day. Got Dreamland to sponsor it. They're going, they're going to cater it, and you know we just want uh, people to come out that that know Kerry Good, know the Goods. They were legends oh, at Hazelwood, man. and you know that they, they were a lot of our heroes when we were growing up. And these guys need help. They need they need help to try to find out what's causing this disease to some of our former athletes, former former players. And uh, we're going to try to help them. And out. they think that may be football related. Well, they're they're, they're doing studies. They think you know we've had they've had several football players that have come down with Lou Gehrig's disease, and they think it may be something contact related. So. They're trying to they're trying to find out if it is you know and you never know but uh, that's what research is for that's why we want to try to help in any way we can. And y'all starting at nine o'clock at your field? We start in pool play at nine o'clock. Every team's going to get to play three games of pool play before lunch. We're going to take a lunch break and then come back and have a single elimination tournament in the afternoon. And um, whoever wins is going to be a prize for the winner. And uh, the biggest thing is to get this get this out in public that people need to know that. You know, we got a guy out here that's hurting, and I'm telling you, it's uh, it's already starting to affect his body. It's already starting to to affect, uh, you know, his speech. And um, now is he uh, in a wheelchair? He is not. He, the, the last time I seen him, okay. he was not. Now he Zach came. and him did a thing at their uh, Greenbrier. I was night. there. Okay. I was there. That's when I told his father was there. And just a fight. The Goods oh, are a legend, fine, man. fine family. Yeah. I mean, they're they're salt of the earth people, and these people need help. And um, uh, anybody that can come out if you're an Alabama fan, you know, you need to be there. Come by just to pay homage to some to some good people that, that need help. And, and uh, there's no cure for that right now, is it? No. And, I mean, it's know, a death sentence. It, it, it is. And, you know, if you know hey, Kerry Good and you remember what kind of athlete he was, to see the decline, that, and he's fighting. I'll tell you that. He's fighting. But, you know, it, it's, it's really a shame it's to see a, a a person go down with something like that. So y'all are taking donations starting at nine o'clock and all day tomorrow. How did your feel? Yes, sir. And just come in out there and they got refreshments. Well, we're gonna have we're gonna have a concession stand. We're gonna have refreshments. Uh, you know, the, the, you're gonna have some. You know, you'll have uh, those people gonna be getting after it. No seven on sevens too. The caters gonna be there. James Clemens, Tanner, uh, Laurent's brothers at Jemison. He's coming over. Clements, Ardmore, and us all gonna be in this thing and. Um, no, it's going to be a good day. It really will be. That's going to be a big deal. You got all the local teams and a few from outside too. Speaking of teams, what are you looking at? When do y'all start practice? Well, you can start August the first is the first practice day, but you know most people are working out, and you got you got some play dates you can do during the summer. And like I said, we were out there yesterday and we did our first afternoon throwing session. And I tell you, it was brutal. Uh, by the time we got through warming them up, we had to take we had to take water breaks. Now, was, are you still in the same classification? Still everything. Same classification. Mm -hmm. But you didn't but move. We, we didn't. We didn't move. We got some yeah. new teams. When Brooks came into our region and Lee came into our region, and we lost West Point and lost Columbia. Columbia moved up. Really? To seven A. They're in there with Athens. Those guys. They're gonna have to buckle down. That's gonna Columbia be a tough from region. Huntsville. Yes. Moved up to seven A. Yes. They're in, 
they're in big trouble. Wow. Whew. That's going to be a tough one for them. All right, let's talk about uh, one of our other favorite teams. What do you think is going to happen to the SEC this year? What are you judging? Well, you're usually pretty accurate, don't you? You know, as long as Nick Saban's at Alabama, they're going to be in it. And, you know, You've got several other teams, and you know when you start writing Auburn off, that's when you better look out. I told Joseph that a while ago. You don't write people off. That's when they work the hardest. Um, but I expect Jim Michael Wayne's going to do a very good job at Florida, and now you got Kirby Smart at Georgia. You know you never know what a new head coach is going to be able to do till they get in there and do it. And um, you know, there's some LSU. You know, always getting good athletes. I expect them to be right in the fight for it, but. I don't see that there's going to be anybody that's going to come up and shock anybody this year. Everybody's talking about Tennessee. I don't see that. And <laughs> what I, about I, I the quarterback situation in Bama? Do you think that Jalen Hurts has got a I game? think it's up in the air, I'll be honest with you. And it's going to be the guy the team starts to rally around. That's who, he, that's who he's picked every year. You know, nobody knew about Jake Coker either. You know, he didn't even get to play against Ole Miss, and they lost last year. And all of a sudden, the team starts to rally around him, and look what he did. Yeah, he almost pulled us back and well won that thing. Anything else we need to know about the East Limestone Indians? Man, no, I tell you, it's, uh, it's amazing what you can get used to. I told myself that yesterday. It's just a, it's a grind. Coaching football is a grind. East Limestone is still a great place. To, you know, they're gutting the school right yeah. now. Mm -hmm. They're, they're doing a lot thing. of construction out there. So, How's Brick doing at the college? Hey, I tell you what Brick's doing right now. Brick's working for the city of Athens, cutting grass. Ooh. He's very mad at me for finding that, <laughs> for finding that job. But he reports for football, I think, the first week in August, and he's still playing baseball. So right now he's working a job. Yeah. Be, my daughter's fixing to be gone to UNA. So I don't know what me and my wife are going to do. It's not going to be good. <laughs> Well, again, Way anything to think else positive, you want. Coach. <laughs> hey, I'll go back to a couple of Tony stories here. I forgot our dear friend Glenn Williams, who grew up knowing Tony, <laughs> said that one year, you know, Rainey's up in Ardmore. Back then, you had to be yeah. 19 to get in up there. Because I remember when I went, <laughs> I used to go to bars myself a little bit. That one night they were coming back from uh, Ardmore at Rainey's up there drinking a little bit. The car that they were all in was filled, filled up, it was full. Tony was going to ride back with him. He spread eagles now, no kidding, on the top of the car, the hood of the car, Holds and on. rides back on the hood, spread eagle, down Highway 31, back to that. I think Tony went to Rainey's when he was 12, like I told you. <laughs> he, had he, had that that he had that mustache, he could have got in. But anyway, uh, golly, we'll keep y'all posted on anything else. Anyway, Jeff, thanks for coming up. Look forward to having you back Thank up you here all. this year, you and Clint, and we'll go from football season. Never six weeks away to kick off, I think, SEC. And we're going to go out with Joseph in just a minute. He's got a Falcon. We're going to give away to the 10,000th caller. No. <laughs> there it is right there, all ready to go. Y'all, hang on. <laughs>